Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to talk about Nightbreed. I don't know why I said that so strange, do apologise. Um, look, we're, we're here to talk about Nightbreed. Now, this news did the rounds not too long ago. Uh, essentially 24 hours to 36 hours ago. Uh, Clive Barker himself has come out and revealed that they have a director on board for the Nightbreed TV series. Now, this TV show was set originally, because this is not major news, right, in terms of the fact that there is a Nightbreed TV show. Because a lot of people have been tweeting me going, oh my god, there's a Nightbreed TV show. Uh, this was actually announced uh, about a year and a half ago, if I remember rightly. Uh, it was going to be written by Josh Stolberg and would be done by Morgan Creek uh, Entertainment, along with Universal as well, uh, and was going to be on sci-fi. And obviously, Clive Barker was going to be involved. Now, what the main news is, is that Michael Doherty, so Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and also now the Hellraiser TV series, was going to be, or has been now revealed to be on board for the, the Nightbreed series, um, which is interesting. Now... I, I'm not sure how much of this I would say is a huge official announcement, and I'll get to that in a second, uh, because it's how it came around, how this piece of news came out. So Clive Barker himself was speaking to Coming Soon about Books of Blood on Hulu, and he stated it's exciting after 30 years to go back to these characters and find out who's still speaking to me, who wants their story told. My tongue isn't in my cheek when I say that as when I start a piece, it's listening. The writing is a piece of listening. I've always said I was a journalist that I was reporting on was the space between my ears. Now, in that, or in that discussion, was when he then came around and revealed that it was, in fact, Michael Doherty that was on board for the Nightbreed series, but it's the fact that, you know, in all of this, it hasn't, there's, there's no official major announcement saying, yep, we've got, um, you know, we've, it's still going to be on sci-fi, it's still going to be released here, it's going to be released there, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I don't know how much of this is 100%. Now, Michael Doherty, I think is fantastic, and I think he would be absolutely brilliant uh, on a Nightbreed series. I think that there's... Nightbreed will absolutely, from all of the interviews that Michael Dirty has done, Nightbreed will call to him. It really will. Um, if you if you watch any interview with, with Michael Dirty, you'll be able to know that. Um, it's very, very apparent that, you know, Nightbreed and Barker's work talks to Mike. Now, and again, that's one of the main reasons why I was so happy that he was on board for Hellraiser. He's a massive fan of Barker. He is a huge, huge fan. Um, and like I say, you, you you genuinely only have to read any interview or see any interview with him to know why. So I, I think he's a good fit. Like, I genuinely think he's a good fit. But I'm not too sure about Josh Stolberg uh, being on board. Now, you know, Michael Doherty being on board as a director, great. Uh, but I had one of the Josh Stolberg scripts for the Nightbreed series, and it was terrible. It was a real, real bad script. Now, the only saving grace here, because Josh Stolberg is still said to be there, um, is that Michael Doherty will have some story say. And if that's the case, yeah, that's that's great. I, you know, any concern I had is then gone. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, now, the actual key article from coming soon uh, net says that when reflecting on the 30th anniversary of his original film adaptation of his 1988 novel cabal barker confirmed that he is indeed making progress on the series currently writing the bible for the world of the titular group and that he's excited to be working with michael doherty uh, on the project now this will probably get a few people going, oh, they're going to be connected to Hellraiser then. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, there's nothing to stop Michael Doherty weaving some connection in there. Uh, absolutely not. Um, 
but I I don't think that this means that they're connected. They have different showrunners. They're on different platforms. Um, and I also think they'll be of varying production quality as well. And that's not a slight on uh, well, Nightbreed as a series or anything like that, but it's on sci-fi. Sci-fi doesn't have the, the most massive of budgets, so don't expect something incredibly high budget or high end. But I also do think that that will lend itself to being quite good for the series because... You know, if you remember Cabal, well, you remember, you know, Nightbreed and Cabal and things like that, you're going to have a nostalgia for it, right? So, them not having a an overtly huge budget for the show is not actually that bad at all. Um, I don't think that that's a, a terrible thing. I think also Michael Doherty as a director has proved himself to being someone that can work with a lower budget, um, you know, Trick or Treat, for instance. I mean, it's not a huge budget, is it? So I think I think Michael Dirty's a good dude to have on board for Nightbreed. And I really like uh, Michael Dirty. I, I've spoken uh, to him via you know various social medias and things like that. Um, and like I said, I really do think he's great for this role. Um, Nightbreed inherently can be you know compared to a, a horror version of X Men in a way where it can be an allegory for many, many things. Um, now, Barker, uh, being an out uh, member of the LGBT community, Nightbreed is undoubtedly, essentially, a, an allegory for that community, uh, being marginalised and uh, being oppressed and, I guess, being hunted. Um, and I think, uh, again... From interviews, I think Michael Doherty would be fantastic for that role. I think he'll he'll be able to bring that nuance out in a way uh, that will tread the line nicely and very, very expertly between allegory and horror. Uh, and I think Michael Doherty is the man for that. Now, again, I don't know how much of a, a clear-cut confirmation this is. This is just Barker having you know a conversation to comingsoon.net now Clive Barker is very very well known for announcing lots and lots of things uh, to drum up PR sometimes when they're not actually set in stone and that's part of the problem um you know he again he did this when he said he was doing the the Hellraiser reboot for instance and that never materialized right so this is not a slight on Barker himself it's just a note that this does actually happen sadly so please do let me know your thoughts on this down below uh, I I do think this is good news so I'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think do you think uh, this is good news or bad news now I, I again when we look at Michael Doherty working on Hellraise and now working on this I don't think this is bad by any stretch I think I think this is really really good news I think it just it calls to the fact that Michael Doherty does know what he's doing you know, with Barker's world anyway. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I've missed the age. Take care.